There is healing, strength to continue. Listen, the burden that you hold. Move on from the failures so you can receive your success. Do.
that feeling of comfort in church by somebody that you love. I don't know how to describe this feeling. I don't know if you can feel it too. Oh. Oh,
everyone welcome back to our channel back in the kitchen yesterday was a pretty slow type of day I spent a lot of time at home I don't think I actually left the house to be honest I was really focusing on getting some chores done like you know the usual washing I was actually trying to clean up the floor of the upstairs lounge a little bit more so that there's a clearer floor area. I think the thing with me is that I love to keep things and they're little. <laughs> and if you know what it's like cleaning up stuff, when you're trying to sweep stuff away, um, I'm talking about things that are little like earrings and hair ties and I mean yeah hair accessory type stuff jewelry um, which is funny because I'm telling you that and I went and I bought some more stuff to do with that so <clears throat> I'm getting better though I'm getting better at making sure that I am using what I have and if it looks grotty and I'm I don't mean to gross you out but has there ever been a time in your life when you swept up somewhere and there are heaps of hair clips? Maybe you can relate to me because you're a female. Or you have heaps of hair ties and then you think to yourself, Oh, I really like those ones. I can't throw it out. Or earrings even. I can't throw it out. And you keep it, but it doesn't get used. Write down in the comments if you're one of those people. I know for a fact that I am. And I'm trying to get better, so if I come across some earring that starts looking, I get rid of it. Hair ties that look dusty and disgusting, sorry, I'm not going to keep that. But I'm just saying, sometimes you come across stuff and you're like, oh, I really want to keep that because I think I'm going to wear it later. And then you don't. So I completely relate to you and maybe you can relate to me talking about this. So I think the whole idea for me is to clean up clutter that's a big goal of mine this year and hopefully every other year of my life because I tend to keep things that I think I could probably use later and then I don't that's why I've got them so that I can keep little things like this in a special place so I got these earrings they were four Australian dollars I really like hoops maybe you don't see me wearing them much because I have heaps of studs this one there's studs studs these are kind of study type earrings as well. Ones that don't dangle, I call them studs. Um, I really love these types of earrings and I look forward to trying them out and having a bit of a play, see how they turn out. On top of that, I have no shame. I love children jewellery. I love children hair ties. I love children stuff because it's colourful. And I'm talking about stuff that you wear, not entirely... I'm not talking about toys. I'm talking about stuff that you can put in your hair, like these cute little bows. In fact, I'm going to put one on now so you can see how it looks on my hair. Um, there has to be a certain type of size. This size is the best. I can't have any smaller. I can't have a smaller size. Yes, it was $3.50. And I really don't like um, certain types of clips. So these ones are perfect for me. These type, I don't know what you even call this type of clip, but as long as it's got that, I find them really strong to stay in my hair. So maybe you can see, I really like that. It's so cute. I love it. Um, but that's what I like in my hair. Interesting story. So I am more than aware that I have you subscribers, which I am really appreciative of. Yeah. Take a deep breath now. Some of you follow me for my music. Some of you follow me for my makeup. And others follow me because I do. This is for those of you who follow me mainly because you believe in the law of attraction like I do. I like to bring that into my vlogs and not have a separate sort of channel for that. I think it's all intertwined. My life is filled with law of attraction experiences and so today was one of those two things happened which I'm going to be talking about. So I was 
out getting my earrings and I didn't get my earrings and my bows from the same place. I got them from two different places. So I went to get my bows first, followed by getting my earrings and Kmart. Now, this is a really interesting topic because there might be some of you who may have felt initially like I did. So I went into Kmart, got my earrings, went to the self-checkout. I like self-checkouts, not everyone's fond of them. That's personal opinion. I like self-checkouts because I don't particularly like to have to talk to people and it's just quicker. I get it done myself. I'm not having to um, rely on someone else to help me out. I'm doing it myself. I love independence, okay? That's just who I am. So I go to self-checkout and I am quite aware that I haven't even paid for my product yet. I scanned it in with the little barcode reader machine, whatever you call it. And I noticed that there was a row of, there was a tunnel of money. That is kind of like the money that you receive from change that you get from buying products in that shop. And so I looked down at it and I didn't even think about it. I just picked it up and put it in my wallet. Now, I am assuming that a couple of you are full of old beliefs and maybe some of you are full of new beliefs. So the old belief is, I picked up the money, I'm stealing from someone else. I'm taking somebody else's pay that sh they should have picked up earlier and that the people in the shop should have noticed However, the new belief is the law of attraction working on my side where I received money from expected and unexpected places. Now, I picked up the money and I didn't feel bad about it. Okay, I did feel a little bit strange afterwards because up on the screen as soon as I left it said assistance needed and the lady went over to the self-checkout that I was at um, to go and fix up what it was saying with assistance needed. So there I was walking out and I thought, are they gonna stop me? Am I in trouble? Have I done something wrong? And this is really something that I want you guys to think about, is that we've been programmed to believe that there is a scarcity mindset in this world. So if we take something that's on the floor, anything, money is just one thing, we get this instant reaction that it's not mine. It doesn't belong to me. Now, if it wasn't mine, I can reassure the fact that it wouldn't have been left there. And you can say that the person before me had forgotten or they were in a rush. Um, and I also feel that if it wasn't for me, the person at the checkout would have noticed way before I took the money. Now I'm aware that there are cameras and they, again, they could have stopped me, but they didn't. And if they had, this was another scenario that was going through my head. I was thinking if they do stop me, then I would stop in my tracks, I'd turn around, I'd be honest and say yes I did actually take the money that was there. I mean, it would feel weird <laughs> to say that, but at the same time, I guess it's better to be honest than not. And you could say that I wasn't honest because I picked up the money and I walked, but I'm just telling you that that is where that scarcity mindset comes from. No one was there to make me feel like I couldn't have it. No one was there. And I truly feel that when something like that happens, there's a part of you that's going to think the old belief of I'm taking something from someone else when really the truth of it is the universe gives you unexpected surprises. And do you know what I did with that money? 
I went and I bought myself a scratch card because I love scratch cards, okay? And just so you know how much money it was, because again, I'm just going to tell you the truth, it was about one dollar and a couple of cents. So even if it was one dollar, fifty dollars, six hundred dollars, a thousand, whatever, I still feel that to us it's a big jump of money differences and amounts but to the universe it isn't and the universe is going to find different ways to bless you and I feel quite blessed that I was able to have that money that I bought myself a scratch card and I won five dollars and you know what I'm doing with that money I'm giving it to Greg so he has extra so he can go bowling tomorrow night with some dinner you know and I don't know what your sort of opinions are. I mean, everyone has an opinion about something. We're human. I get it. But I'm telling you now, my belief is very much from the law of attraction. And I feel that the universe has many different ways of blessing you. There are things that do happen. We cannot explain them. So moving on from that... I also want to express the fact that a friend of mine went to the shops one day and she was buying herself what was a really expensive plant. So she went in with her husband. She told me about this because um, we were having coffee together and we used to catch up like all the time. I don't hear from her anymore, but that's life. People change, people move on and whatever, as long as she's happy, that's all that matters. So she bought herself a plant, but when she took it to the checkout, the plant ended up being a lot cheaper than the actual price. In fact, I think she even said it was free. So the person said to her, it gave her a different price, and she walked away. She was a little bit like me thinking, should I go and tell them that this is the price or do I just walk away? And I listened to what she said because she didn't really know how to feel and we talked about how the universe blesses you in so many different ways, expected and unexpected. And I said to her, I think that the universe was giving you an opportunity to get a cheaper plant. And Again, nobody stopped her. Um, and I feel that there are lots of moments in your life that can happen like that. She said to me that she felt better by talking about it because she wasn't really sure what it meant. And yes, sometimes we have moments like that we um and, and are, but I'm pretty sure that it's a very similar scenario to if you pick up a penny on the floor so people are gonna look at you funny anyway because they think why would someone want to pick something up the floor up off the floor it could be dirty it could be this it could be that but they don't actually realize that the importance of the law of attraction is you become a receiver you are open to receiving anything everything now when I say anything and everything this could be like a completely different topic I'm already starting to feel a bit tired and I've got a couple more things to do like some edits some more videos and that so I better get on to doing that oh, wow I don't know for some reason I'm just feeling really tired all right you guys I have had a pretty relaxing afternoon after I filmed this morning showing you guys what I had done well just chatting to you about going to the shops I don't know I feel like maybe it's the weather and the things that I've been up to oh by the way this is Greg's shirt I have a habit of wearing um, Greg's clothes I don't know if you guys are the same when it comes to having partners or boyfriends or in this case husbands um, tend to wear each other's clothes like he'll wear mine as well don't get me wrong he'll wear my clothes he tries to squeeze into it but um if you've seen my husband which you probably have watching my vlogs 
then you'll notice that he is a little bit bigger than I am. So he kind of has to squeeze in. Anyway. So I was getting off topic there. Um, I wanted to let you guys know I'm going to really try doing my best when I'm doing vlogs to not only have a beginning and an ending. I feel like sometimes I, as well as getting involved in what I'm recording, I also feel like you can sort of guess that it's the end of the day or, you know, I've finished filming. But look, this is me signing off with you guys. I want to first of all thank you so much for... Um, all you subscribers that are part of my channel, even the comments that you're leaving below, all I want to do is emphasize a positive and kind environment that people feel safe to share their opinions, but as well as, let's be honest, it's important to focus on the fact that we accept who we are, we love who we are, even if we don't agree with each other, like my mother and I used to say, we can agree to disagree and that's okay. But it doesn't mean that we go ahead and we put someone down or we lower their self-esteem by making them feel bad about who they are. I believe that everybody's different, everybody's unique and they have their own voice about how they want to express themselves in a positive manner. What I also wanted to say is that... Um, this afternoon I ended up having a nap, which is kind of why um, I'm in this type of shirt. I'm just, I like to wear comfortable things. That's just who I am. I like dressing up, but I also have a, what I'm going to call a lizard lounge room sort of deal. Like I like to just relax on the couch. Um, not all the time, okay? You already know that I go out and get some exercise. I also meditated this afternoon, so that was great for me to have 10 minutes of self-love actually sitting outside. As you've seen, you know how I meditate and where I meditate. It's perfect for me to be in one space to do that and sit on my yoga mat. I'm really looking forward to I'm really looking forward to starting some yoga classes as well soon. I think it's going to help me with my mindfulness as well as my exercise and definitely getting back into swimming on the weekends so you guys have a great week i want to thank you all for being here those of you who are new those of you who have been here from the start honestly i accept any love hearts compliments that are positive uplifting of course you can give constructive feedback but you know just make sure that the constructive feedback you're giving is not something that is going to make somebody change because I am who I am. You are who you are and that's okay. We're all different. Um, and I don't want to be the type of person who says, please don't watch my videos if it's not for you. I think you are all adults and you can figure out what video you want to watch. Like I don't have to tell you not to watch my video if it's not your cup of tea. <laughs> And that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be your cup of tea. But I'm going to sign off here. You guys are amazing. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.